Hey guys, this is Moogabatad56 here, and today we're going to be playing Kerbal Space Program. This is the second episode of a uh, series I'm making for Kerbal Space Program, so let's get started. Oh, oh wait, no, yeah, that was right. <laughs> Alright, uh, YouTube, no, Moogabatad56. Alright, let's go. I'll try not to bump the mic as much this time. <laughs> the last episode, there were a few times that I hit the mic. It was quite loud. Well, I tried to edit them out, and then the editing software I was using just uh, didn't want to work. So I had to use another one, which I couldn't edit them out with Windows Movie Maker. Uh, yeah. So, seven science. I'm guessing we can't get anything with that. Yeah, we did that at the end of the last episode. Alright. Uh, so what did we get? We got the wing, winglets, the ones that don't turn you. The radial decouplers, those are good. The aerodynamic nose cones. Didn't click. The radial mount parachutes, landing legs, and a tiny engine. Or poodle. No, that's the Rockamax one. Anyways, the space travel engine. Uh, fuel efficient engine. Anyways, so let's get the basic ship out. I'm gonna make a... Actually, I don't remember what the other one looks like. Let's see. Uh, let's just see. Let's click me. Uh, and, uh, that's okay. I'll just make a new one though. Alright. So. Alright. So, basic module at the top. I'll put a small. No. Uh, yeah. I'll put a fancy one on. <laughs> and, uh. Small engine. Some radial parachutes. I want my logo to show. Uh, there. There's no logo on the other side. Just wondering. All right. Uh, actually, I can. Nah, this. That'll. I was gonna put them down here, but that would make it too. Uh, bottom light. I guess it would be. Cause it's top top heavy. Bot, bottom light. You know. Uh, I should name it. I'll do that later. Anyways. Uh. Uh, another symmetry that looks right oh yeah it's a good thing I used this engine because none of the other engines work with these legs they're too too small All right so I'll stick a few of these on and there so that's the main module let's see so I believe I have this, yeah. And then we need uh, something to lift with. So I'll use this. Another one. I don't, yeah, no, I don't have the tank, the, the, uh, I forget what they're called. Uh, the gas lines, whatever. What kind of order is that? Oh, well, the, 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 never mind, never mind. The, there. That, that fixes it. Okay. So, now we need an engine. Uh, good engine. <laughs> Let's put on some, some of these. Ooh, we can put on the radial decouplers now. Didn't click. cone uh, let's see anything else oh yeah yeah these winglets uh, I just forgot how to move the camera <laughs> all right I was trying to left click 
Anyways, uh, that, that looks good. Um, so we have that, that, that. I don't need anything else here. Nothing there. <laughs> I can use these. I'll use these. That looks good. So all of these go off, then they come off, and this engine goes off. Though I have a feeling these will go off later than these. We'll just see what happens. Then we have these, and I need to action group these. So, observe. There. I think this is uh, worthy of a Mark III. What, what did I call the other one? I forget. Science Pod. supposed to be a three and I was using Roman numerals anyways. Oops, sorry. Uh, alright. That's the name. <laughs> alright. Now we need to do... I think that's it. Oh yeah, I was gonna just go through these. Um, yeah. Save. Launch. Let's try it out. So, right, we're in science mode, so all we really need is the science to get the uh, parts. We don't need money, so there's no missions. Yeah, so this is pretty much all we need. So, let's go. I got a hair on my keyboard. Here. All right. <laughs> Quickly turn that down if I can from here. I oh, yeah, audio volume. Spacecraft, I believe that is. Ooh. What? Why does it need to switch monitorism? I'll be, I'll be right back if this crashes. Well, it crashed, but let's see if our flight is still going. Got it. Fly. Come on. Oh, okay, well, that's fine. Alright. Probably did, like, an autosave here. Anyways, this, this'll do. Let's go. <laughs> oh, I, did the volume work? Because <laughs> that would be kind of annoying if I had to... No, yeah, that worked. Okay. Close. Alright. <laughs> We're good. No problems. Oh, that's a little like that's, that's normal for Kerbal Space Program. Alright, uh, let's see, do I get any science out of the first two containers? Probably not, because we've probably done it here now. Alright, reset. aren't actually down, so you just have to turn them off, and then it'll be off, and they'll still be down, which is kind of annoying. There we go. Oh, that was kind of close. Ooh. SAS, do your job. Oh, that, that was the wrong button. That was the complete wrong button. Well, I got it back. I was gonna see the 
apolapsis. Apoapsis, that's it. Uh, I believe, anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah. This is a pretty good rocket. Let's check. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember we did the, the last experiment right here about on the atmosphere level. Uh, yeah, so it's going good. Now, more waiting. Um, let's see. Pretty vertical. There's the uh, airstrip on the island over there. I was just wondering if you could see it. You can definitely see it. <laughs> All right. There's the beautiful mountains. Beautiful grass. Repeating texture. You can see it better <laughs> in the water. Anyway, let's. Ah, oh, that's great. And we're in, well, we're gonna be in space. We're not in space. Yeah. This is great. I'll just get, actually, no, I'll try to, I'll try to orbit. We'll see what I can do. So. Gotta rotate. I'll just go as far to the right as I can if I can't actually get into an orbit. Go back the other way. Let's go. Careful. There. Alright. Uh, first goo container. Or set. First set. Nope, nothing yet. Alright. Once we get to 7,000 meters, or 70,000 meters, 7,000 would be like down there. Alright. Come on. There we are. Yeah, did I not press it? 10 science each. Well, uh. Actually, I was kind of wondering what that said. Review data. Goo seems to have clumped into a sphere and it also appears to have become brittle. Hmm. It's all fake science, but it's still kind of interesting to read what they say. What the messages say and stuff, yeah. So... I think I can do another one in this atmosphere level. I don't think I'm gonna get any higher, so I'll just do one more. And I can always, like, undo the one of them. Uh, so am I, am I at the apolaps apoapsis yet? Not quite. Fast forward time a little. And right, uh, mm, slowing down. And right about there. Mm, Rusty caps lock by accident. probably not going to get in orbit, but I want to see if I can. It's probably better if I don't, because then I can recover my data. Because if I do get in orbit, I don't think I'll be able to get out of orbit. But I'm still curious. I want to raise the orbit a little. Get myself more towards the periapsis. Or apoapsis, sorry. For any of you technology people understand these terms. I know what they mean, but I don't... I'm not about them. I'm not all about them. Well, it's going pretty well, actually. There. I can do this. Nope, nope, radial. Radial. <laughs> Keep going. Uh, and then once I get to the apoapsis, apoapsis, I'll go prograde. Uh, 
let's see. There, that's good. Actually, wait. Oh, well, hmm, we'll stow it of fuel, so it's not gonna... Yeah, no. Nothing's gonna happen. I'm just gonna... Can I just, like, redo the experiment on these? Reset. Just in case I get anything else. And go. Yeah, it's the same thing. Alright, well, now we warp and point for our, our retrograde. Get out our landing legs, even though we're gonna do a splash landing. Uh, I hope none of these go boom, blow up. I was gonna say, but then I said go. So I just found something wrong. Anyway, parachutes go. I don't think anything will break. This weight is light enough that three parachutes can do it. So they go out about there, I think. Let's see if I'm right. Yeah, that was pretty close. Uh, they're nice and fiery. So beautiful. Right now. Yeah, there's no engine. Um, let's, uh, we don't need to slow down time yet. Once it gets to 5,000 meter, 500 meters, then we can slow it down, because that's when the parachutes open up. And, boom. Alright. Now we warp some more. <laughs> this game is all about waiting, but at least they had tricks to get around it. <laughs> yeah. these landing gear aren't going to be very useful unless they take some of the impact by exploding. Ooh, I wasn't paying attention to the night. Ooh, that, was, that could have been bad <laughs> if I warped into the ground. It's kind of hard to see what level now they are. Keep up right. Darn it. Okay, well. Uh, ah, I forgot to do a crew report. That's what it Alright, anyways, crew report. I got two sides out of it. Uh, EVA. I believe you can take a surface sample. And space, I believe. Is like, uh, yeah, alright. I could have just looked down, but whatever. Take surface sample of water. That's actually worth quite a bit. Can I get back in? Nope. Oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't know you could jump in the water. That's nice. Now I can just recover the vessel once. <laughs> Let's go. 48. That's nice. Let's see, so... The crew report and the surface sample. The EVA <laughs> flying. Anyways. That's because I wasn't actually in the water. Uh, mystery goo. The first one was worth it, the second one was not, and neither was the third. Uh, but a suborbital flight did it. Alright, other than the water sample, of course. <laughs> Alright. Uh, that'd be funny if we could take a water sample from over here. I can't zoom in on that. Anyway, yeah, you can see it. I'm recording in HD. <laughs> Alright, so... Uh, yeah. Now... I'm just gonna... Let's see. I'll load the spacecraft up. Alright. If there was any glitching in the video there, sorry about that. Uh, checking the time. Alright, so... What can we do to improve this? Well, first of all, we can exit. Uh, because <laughs> I didn't research anything. Alright, we gotta research everything. Right, with 48. So this is 20, yeah. That's better engines, a really big solid fuel, and a really tiny solid fuel. Which leads to 
fuselage or in interstage. This kind of oh, that's that's a decoupler. Huh. I guess that's a decoupler. Although it has the strut connectors, that's worth it. How much is this? Forty-five. So I, I couldn't buy it soon anyway. Those are kind of useful. These are kind of useful. Uh, what's this one? A bunch of aerodynamic stuff. I'm not actually... These pieces are kind of confusing. This one doesn't. Isn't. Uh, this one's really useful. And this one's pretty useful. This one's nice to have. Wing bits. A drone. Those are useful. I'm just saying everything's useful. Ooh. Batteries are very useful. And a data transmitter, so I can just transmit stuff over and over again. Although you don't get as much science for doing it. And then there's the Science Junior. This, this, SC9001 is a cunning, cutting edge, self-contained laboratory. Have you ever wondered what happens to something in zero G? Or have you pondered the truly meaningful questions? Er, or have you ever pondered the truly meaningful Okay, yeah, I said that right. Such as what would happen if I exposed this to the rigors of a stellar radiation and unforgiving vacuum. It comes with complimentary, complimentary notepad recommended for ages 4 to 8. Small parts inside make it not suitable for small children. <laughs> That's great. Uh, basically, something that you can take up and put little kids' science experiments into. That's what it seems like. Anyways, it seems useful. It's good science. It gets you good science. Although I don't, I don't know if I want to. What what does this? One? Oh yeah, yeah, that's the rockets. Although this one has control and stuff. Like uh, this is called flight control. Uh, Instruction. Now I'm curious about the names. <laughs> Rocketry, science tech. Alright, I'll go with the control one. I gotta make up my mind sometime. And then that unlocks aerodynamics, advanced flight control, which has like the advanced SAS, yeah. Or inline stabilizer, sorry. <laughs> uh, another type of cockpit, uh, another probe, uh, fuel tank. Uh, monopropellant technology, yeah, monopropellant, yeah, and the RCS stuff, and the delta winglet, more battery stuff here, and some more aerodynamic stuff here, so yeah, that was worth it, I think that was pretty good, uh, I won't spend this whole episode <laughs> just looking there, that was, that was long, anyway, stay put Nick, that's kind of a weird name for a probe, or, uh, not a probe. Uh, drone. I keep saying probe. Probe is weird. Anyways. Alright, so. I just forgot what we got. Let's see. Did we. No, okay. Oh, yeah, we got this stuff. Alright. Alright. Let's clear this so we can make a new one. Yes, sir. Alright, uh, let's go. So, I'm gonna try making one with this. Now I'm gonna do the special aerodynamic shell around it, if I can. See, that's, that's what I don't really understand. Oh, wait. There's something like if you like I'm just gonna launch test this. I'm not actually gonna do anything with it. Although with a drone, you can't um, 
Oh, okay, yeah, that looks dumb. Recover vessel, I might as well see if I got any science out of it. Uh, nope. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I don't understand how those work. Yeah. Something like that. But I don't well, this time fraps crashed. Uh, yeah. Anyways, let's get back to whatever we were doing. Alright. Uh, which I can remember because I was just here. Anyways, what's this one? Expanded fairing cone. Yeah. Is this what we need? So it looks like a more reasonable size. Al although I don't. It's in a more reasonable location anyway. <laughs> Only slightly though. It's like that. <laughs> and there's like the walls. I might not do this because this is not really working. Uh, and then I guess you could put like this down here, but not on these, like, yeah, that doesn't, looks kind of cool though. <laughs> I'll just leave it and see what happens. Anyways, so for this, since it's a uh, drone, we need these. Looks kind of alien y. Kind of cool. Here. <laughs> uh, since we're doing science, we need some of these. Or no, we're gonna use the. Oh, yeah, no. No, this is right. I uh, can't put it on there, that makes sense, though. I uh, know I need it on this. I'll, um, I'm just gonna trash this, okay. <laughs> this isn't working. None of this is working. Okay. Alright, so, yeah, I don't have any plane parts. We'll just do a normal ship. Okay. So, this, that, yeah, there. No, it, jumping around too fast. There. Mirror, no, I thought I clicked it. Oh, it's still mirrored. Alright, so that's the parachutes and the final engine. Mirror again. Ah, uh, the goo. Although I don't think we really need the goo. Hmm. I'll just put it on. groups. I'm gonna make abort be the parachutes. Because <laughs> I haven't actually used abort, so I don't want to cut the chute. <laughs> that would be bad. And shut down engine. This actually might be useful if I do a really bad crash. probably not gonna crash terribly with this model. Alright, so now we need a stack decoupler. I'll use the fancy one. Alright, no, these are tiny. <laughs> yeah, no, no, that's that's not good. Alright, knew there was something wrong with this. It's smaller, yeah. Alright, uh, now more fuel. Just put on a ton of the tall rockets. Eight, for instance. For instance. <laughs> All right. Looks good. Uh, each one will have some. some ooh, all right. This is important. Each one. I'll just put the the non-moving ones on those. 
That looks pretty. <laughs> Alright, so, but I'll put these here. And this, and this, here. That looks better. Yeah, and they, neither of them really look that good. Anyways, now, let's see. Uh, we don't really need any control for up here, because... Oh, we have this though. We might as well put it on. Oh. Wait a sec. Is this. Wait, where. Huh. I didn't. I didn't know they made this smaller. Huh. I thought that, that works, I guess. But. <laughs> Whatever. Might as well put it on there. Um. Yeah, we don't need any more parachutes, because it's the same weight about. Uh, uh, I will be right back. One uh, more right, we're back. Uh, what was I doing? Let's see. Okay. The uh, bottom's nice and evenly distributed. Alright, let's title it. I'm not gonna... Actually... Uh, it's not really... Uh, space... Caps lock. Spacecraft. So now it's not an untitled spacecraft. Uh, yeah. So let's go. Let's... Uh, uh, right. This. So these go. And then these go. And then this goes. And then this goes. And this goes. I'm gonna have to, there be some time here for these to float away, because this could break these. Uh, oh yeah, I was gonna finish the abort. <laughs> I wanted to finish the abort. Alright, so, decouple this. Uh, decouple those. Shut down engine. Shut down engine. What's jettison? Huh. I think that should be decent. And I might as well just observe the mystery go when it's aborting. And lower. Alright, now we're all safe if we need to abort. Uh, I'll, I'll call this safety craft. Safety. Wow. Safety craft. AFT. Nope. <laughs> Even if I'm looking at the keyboard, I can't spell. There. Safety craft. Uh, I'll save it. Now this... That. And that. Oh, what? No. Uh, that. Alright, so there should be a different one there and there. Okay. Now we save it. That looks good. Let's launch it. I'm just testing out designs. I don't actually have a goal yet. Uh, I don't know. No, I have a goal to unlock as much stuff as I can without actually doing anything, which may not be that interesting for now, but might as well put it on camera. If you're if you're not interested in this, skip forward a few episodes, or at least. Uh, like one episode you can just I don't know anyways do what you like <laughs> all right so throttle up not that that's important for this I want to test out the uh, the abort 
first. Okay. Oh no, I forgot to turn on the SAS even though I did actually turn it on. And now we're out of control. Oh no. Abort. Well, they didn't... <laughs> yeah, sure. It didn't stop the engines. I guess that's because they can't be stopped. That's funny, I've never seen the parachutes angled down like that. Anyways, we'll just revert uh, to the beginning of the flight, because there's no point in just waiting for it to land. Okay. There, now it's loaded. Go. <laughs> that was fun. Anyways, let's go north. That's not north. But this is good. That's good. Got our nice little main lens here. Goes like that. Oh my gosh, it's so smooth. Alright. Let's see what our trajectory <laughs> We're not gonna be near the north, but I'm just might as well try. Uh uh Yeah. Uh, we're already out of fuel. And that's so pretty. Yeah, if we go. Yeah, we're not making it to the North Pole. But it's worth a shot. Well, is it worth a shot, though? That's the question. Is there anything on the south? Oh, yeah, there's the Atlantica sort of thing. On the south. And on the north, there's a polar ice cap. <laughs> Anyway, uh, just wait. <laughs> this is the boring part again. We're not going to make it anywhere near there, so I'll just go prograde so we can go as far as we can forward rather than in a certain direction. So yeah. Or I could just make a spin in circles. <laughs> That'd be fun, too. Sure, why not? I believe this one will make me spin in circles. That's weird. It's not appearing. Like, the symbols aren't appearing. Oh, that's because it... No, wait. Huh, that's weird. Huh. This seems like retrograde. I think it might be this one. Oh, well now they're appearing. Well, it's not going the right way anyways. Wait, and... There, now it is. I don't... I don't know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> anyways. Let's just watch the orbit spin. This is kind of pointless, so I'll just deploy these. No science, I'll not deploy those. Let's just go up now. Oh, wrong way. Wrong way. We're out of electricity. can tell when it swung across the, when it bounced around anyway. Uh, I don't think we're gonna be able to do anything in this flight, so now I remembered to crew report. Not worth anything. Alright. <laughs> well, let's just abort. Everything falls apart. And we just recycle that because there's no point. And there we go. I have no control over the vessel. Just great. This is a great time to abort. So let's just go see what happens. Uh, 
I'll skip to the part where we're dying. All right, so it appears we're about to die soon. Uh, I'm just going to leave it on full warp to see what happens. <laughs> see if the parachutes, parachutes parachutes, have improved at all in, KF, in KSP. Probably not, but just worth a try. Oh, nope, they haven't. And boom. That was interesting. Revert to vehicle assembly let's see so I don't have any uh, any science I believe I, I believe I do not have any science there um, yeah so thank you for watching this episode of Kerbal Space Program um, I hope you enjoyed uh, don't forget to comment rate subscribe uh, like uh, check me out on different platforms like SoundCloud, Twitch. Yeah, thanks for watching. Over and out.